Quick Start Navigation. OK, let's dive in. Right mouse button pans the view. Scroll wheel zooms in and out. And middle mouse button rotates the view. In case you forget these hotkeys, the navigation hotkeys for the world can also be found in the important hotkeys tool. This is here. Move view, rotate view, zoom view. Hotkey asterisk resets the view. Let's hide it away and let's create a cube. This can be done in the toolbar here. That's by the way why it is called box modeling. You start with a box. Again, first the navigation. Hotkey W moves the object. Hotkey E rotates the object of the selection. And hotkey R scales the object of the selection. And one more navigation issue. We will need to switch to other views. Front, left, right, top, etc. This can be done down here. You can also switch to camera view here, in and out. And these buttons also provide you the hotkeys. For front view, for example, it's the numpad 1. And one last navigation issue. You can, of course, always zoom in and out by scroll wheel. But there is a menu item that fits the object or the selection into the window. View selected. The hotkey is here, numpad 0. That for basic navigation. Another important navigation tool is the 3D widget. You can turn it on down here. Or with the hotkey above the tab key. This widget is interesting because you can move, rotate and scale along one axis. You can see that the widget has three widget types. Move, Rotate and Scale. When you hold down Shift, then you can activate all three widget types at once. This drop-down box here is to set the orientation of the widget. When we choose Local, then the orientation of the widget is along the local axis of the object. And one last navigation issue. You can limit the transform along one axis only, also with the navigation hotkeys. Let me show you what I mean. Press W for move. Now press X for the X axis. And as you can see down here, there appears a text along global X. You can move our cube now only along the X axis. When you press X a second time, then this text down here changes to along local X and now we can move along the axis of the object.